hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very well today it's uh, i'm gonna be doing a video all about my mid-year favorites that i've got all the makeup that i've got and i really really enjoyed which is my favorite for this year from january onwards uh, i'm gonna be talking a little bit about them uh, my favorite products my favorite makeup products of 2021 uh, so without further ado let's start um uh, this video. So the first product I really, really enjoy buying this year it's the Dior Forever Natural Nude Foundation. Absolutely love the packaging. This cream and this comes with a pump. I love the packaging. I love the product. It gives me a beautiful glow to my skin. It's a beautiful foundation. It's a great coverage. It's glowy. My skin looks the best. When I'm wearing it, it's fantastic for summertime. It gives you a beautiful glow to my skin, and I'm really, really loving it. So since I bought it, I keep wearing it all the time, and I really, really enjoy it. So it's one of my favorite foundations I've tried. I never got disappointed with Dior foundations, to be honest, but this one is one of my one of my favorites from them. I'm really, really loving it from the packaging to the actual look on my skin. Whenever I wear it, my skin looks the best, flawless. Love it. Another foundation that I really, really enjoyed uh, this year is the one from Valentino called Very Valentino. I love also the packaging of it. It comes in a pump, beautiful glass bottle with the logo, absolutely stunning. I love the red look as well. Uh, I love the packaging. I also love the formula. My skin looks stunning whenever I wear it. It looks beautiful. It has a great coverage without looking heavy. It gives me a natural finish to my skin. It's not as glow as the uh, it's not as glowy as the Dior one, but it still gives you a beautiful natural look to your skin. So whenever I wear it, I always wear like a Salo Tilbury a Hollywood flawless filter underneath if I wanna have a go for more glowy look. Otherwise, if you want just a natural everyday makeup look, I do wear this and my skin looks flawless whenever I wear it. I really really love this foundation. So that was my foundations for this year that I really loved. And uh, now we go to skin tint. Skin tint that I really enjoy this year for 2021 is the Fenty Beauty, which looks at like this beautiful packaging. It's a plastic packaging, but I really love it. It's very compact. It comes like in a squeezy tube, like every skin tint. It's amazing. I really love it for every day when I want, when it's very hot, the weather outside, and I want a beautiful look, quite easy with my fingers applied on, just go about my day. Love it. It's not super glowy like other skin tints. I found out with a lot of skin tints, they're all very glowy. But this one is not. So it's a give you a beautiful, natural look to your skin. So if you are very oily, you're going to enjoy this. Or if you like a more natural skin tint, not as glowy as most of the skin tints, you're going to enjoy this. Really, really loved it. Now let's go to powder. The powder that I really loved the, this year was my Dior one. The backstage, uh, the Dior backstage face and body powder, no powder, they call it, which looks this. It's very beautiful powder. I love the packaging. I know a lot of people criticize the packaging. Oh, there's no mirror, blah, blah. But uh, me personally, I love looking at it. I absolutely love the product. I love the packaging and I also love how it looks on my skin. It's absolutely mattifying. Uh, it's amazing. I've used it quite a lot, as you can see. All the logo is gone rubbed off now because I've been using quite a lot. A really beautiful powder, very finely milled. It gives you mattifying your skin beautifully. What else do you need? It's amazing. So now let's go to bronzer. The bronzer that I really love this year, it's my Victoria Beckham. If you haven't tried it, I do recommend it. I've got the Sage Zero One. I use them together, mix them together to give me a nice bronzy look, which I'm wearing today, which I absolutely love. Uh, this bronzer, I love the packaging. It's so lax, so beautiful, so heavy. It's the high one of the. It's the heaviest actually of all my luxury makeup. Um, uh, you know, makeup that I've got. This is the best. I really love. Obviously, the aesthetic of this is absolutely amazing. I love the weight of it, and I love how it closes. It closes like a clutch, like this old kind of uh, you know makeup. Oop, makeup. So it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Uh, so that was my bronzer that I enjoy this year. So now let's go to blushes, which I've got quite a few. Uh, because I think that this was the year of the blushes, I don't know. The first blush that I really enjoy is from Chanel. 
and this is from the spring collection, this Geo Highlight Plus Coral. It's absolutely stunning from the way it looks and the way it goes on your cheeks. The pigmentation is there, the shade is amazing and the highlighter is amazing too. Absolutely stunning this product guys, I don't know, I have no words. I love the formula, I love the color it gives on my cheeks. It's one of my favorite blushes um, uh, for 2021 and not only. So I'm really, really loving this uh, from the spring collection. Uh, next, we're going to my beautiful Hermes blush. I really love this one as well. I love the packaging. It's a lightweight, but I don't mind it. I really love the look of the blush. The white with the gold emblem. It's gold on the back. And then you've got this beautiful mirror. Then you've got this beautiful blush color, which I absolutely love. I don't have any shade like this. I love it. I'm wearing it today, actually. And I really love it. I love it, the formula, the pigmentation, how it goes smoothly on your skin. It's easy to apply, easy to blend. Very beautiful formula. Love it. Another blush that I really, really enjoy and uh, I recommend is the Pat McGrath Labs. Uh, the shade I've got is the Divine Rose, which I absolutely love. I love the packaging. It's quite luxe, quite heavy as well. It's a beautiful mirror and then you've got this beautiful look at this embossing. Apart from looking fantastic and beautiful, the shade is amazing, the pigmentation is there, it looks stunning, the formula it goes like a dream on your skin, it blends beautifully, I really really enjoy the color as well, the formula is stunning guys, I really recommend if you haven't tried the blushes to give it a go, and then I've got another beautiful blush from Santa Kai with this cute, quite fun, flowery design, um, it's called, what is it called? The Flower Power Chick Shade. Uh, this one. It's absolutely amazing. I love the formula. It's very different from any other of the blushes. It's absolutely amazing. It goes like a dream. It goes smoothly. On. It's one of the smoothest uh, blush ever. It goes beautifully. You can't go wrong. You can't put too much. It's stunning. The formula, it's, I think it's the best out of all of these. I really, really enjoy a lot of the shade as well. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the formula. It's stunning. I absolutely love it. Uh, very, very nice purchase. I'm very, very happy with that. And then the last blush I think I've got is the Lisa Eldridge, which I absolutely love. The liquid one uh, in Pink Poetry, which is this is the shade pink. Absolutely love this. It's a liquid, creamy, not too liquidy, more creamy. Blush, if you want to go that kind of makeup, no makeup kind of a look for summertime when it's very hot, love it. And I love the shade, the pink poetry is amazing. A beautiful true pink, I love it. Now let's go to concealer. The concealer that I really love this year and recommend is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer, which looks like this, this pen, let me clean it. Beautiful, first of all, it has quite a lot inside for a pen, okay. So you get a lot of product, it's the most lightweight concealer, it covers your dark circles, it brightens up your under area, so it's amazing for that. And I have no, I really love it whenever I wear it, absolutely love. The brush is quite chunky, you get quite a lot on it, but it's, it goes on smoothly, okay? It goes down smoothly, It um, it's a great, great concealer, it conceals, it brightens, it's the best if you have fine lines under your eyes, never cakes, it doesn't make my under eye area never cakey, no matter how much I apply of this, so because it's the consistency is very high light, lightweight and it's also had hyaluronic acid, so it makes your skin beautiful guys, honestly, this is the best thing ever. Now we go to highlighter, the one that I've uh, purchased this year and I really love, it's the Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow Highlighter. This is the shade Cosmic Rose. Comes with this chunky, beautiful applicator. It's absolutely stunning on the skin. Very natural, very subtle, and I love liquid hi uh, highlighters anyway. So this is a dream. It's beautiful on your skin. Subtle, beautiful, natural looking. Amazing, I love it. Now let's go mascara this year. I discovered this the Valentino one, which I absolutely love. Uh, gives you great volume. It doesn't smudge. This is the beautiful brush. Love the brush. It uh, gives you a very nice, separates them, gives you volume, 
never smudges so it's a beautiful mascara i discovered this year i'm quite happy with that and now let's go to lipsticks um so of course i really really love this year the new releases from chanel the Co rose Rouge coco blooms absolutely love this the shade i've got is 130 blossom is this beautiful orange red how stunning is this the formula is one of the best i love the formula so much it's so creamy it's so comfortable on the lip the pigmentation is amazing and even if you eat it, it stays on your lips quite long lasting i think for many of their lipsticks i really love this formula amazing i want to buy more shades of these rouge coco blooms loving it then i also love the hermes limited edition ones that they bring out this year they say that i've got it's uh, 54 it's in the matte one it is a pink one um rose nuit it's called and this is the shade it's a matte lipstick but it's absolutely stunning i love the formula although it's matte it's not drying it's very creamy it's very comfortable on the lips and absolutely love the magnetic closure and the packaging absolutely stunning oh, loving it love 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 obviously i love my lisa eldridge new addition to my collection the new the summer from the summer collection 2021 i've got the shades dance card atomic cherry and love of my life i absolutely love the formula love the packaging is magnetic as well how classy beautiful gold and this is the beautiful shades absolutely love the formula it's super creamy super comfortable and they're quite lovely and sheer although this is a bright orange red it's absolutely stunning on the lips it looks beautiful very wearable for every day and these beautiful colors absolutely love the colors love the formula mm, loving them semi sheer very beautiful very comfy and another last one last for my kind of a lip balm i would say not a lipstick is from westman atelier this year i absolutely love this packaging is stunning it's quite heavy quite compact beautiful this beautiful brick red lipstick what is it called i can't remember the name let's have a look if i can see the name pop i think is it pop squeak or something it's absolutely the best lip balm treatment and this is the shade absolutely love the shade i love the applicator it goes on smoothly and this is the best lip treatment i ever found so this is the best lip balm in a gloss form so it's absolutely stunning and the color is just amazing it's there you can really really see the color you can see uh the improvement on your lip texture after you're using this loving it and i do recommend if you haven't tried any of these please do so and last i've got an eyeshadow that i really love this uh 2021 it's from the chanel spring collection uh the number is 368 golden meadow it's called i'll show you the shades it's this one i have to keep wearing it all the time it's my most worn eyeshadow palette uh for this summer this beautiful peachy brown and terracotta and then you've got the gold one absolutely stunning it's a bit dirty because i've been using it quite a lot i love this I love the formula, the pigmentation is there, the look is amazing, it's fantastic for spring and summer. I really, really loved it. Love this, my most used palette from 2021, to be honest. So, that is guys today. That was my mid-year 2021 favorite makeup. I uh, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down. If you have tried any of these, are they your favorites as well? Let me know which one is your favorite for this year that you've tried so far that you're very impressed. And that's about it, guys. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys.